in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, where we just did a wonderful photo shoot in preparation for a thousand concerts. Most of the 1,000 concerts I did in my beautiful silk jackets, which were designed by Roger Perry, a designer from Los Angeles. Well, it's time to, to uh, retire the silk jackets. And when I knew that this was gonna, you know, coming to an end, the thousand concerts are over, I'm moving on to the awaken phase, I needed to find someone that would help me with that. Of course, in Croatia, I have my wonderful stylist, Ivan Fristic, and Linnea Exclusive, who are um, a great designer who provides me with wonderful clothes while I'm there. But here in America, I was looking for someone with the right secret ingredient. I took a trip to Florida earlier this year to Ave Maria, where I was singing, and my host was Jeannie Rush Weber. Jeannie picked me up at the airport. Immediately, I just fell in love with her. Her style, her big smile, the joy that she just exuberates. Jeannie is one of these women that really inspires me when it comes to style and, and really how to see yourself and how to have fun with clothing and not be so pressured about it. I struggle with it because I always have such great stylists who take care of it. So here we are at the Secret Ingredient in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, where we got to spend a little time with Jeannie and I got a chance to interview her and introduce her to you. When I was in high school, um, I was involved in lots of extracurricular activities and I was just too busy to decide what I wanted to do with my career. So I asked my mother what should I be and she said a dental hygienist. And I said, okay, that sounds great. And I went on enjoying my life in high school. And I had a call from the guidance counselor and she asked me if I wanted to interview for a position with the department store on the high school board. So I went for the interview and I got the job and with the job I got the most incredible boss. She had made me feel good about myself and what I was capable of doing. It was like the first time in my life I felt like this is my passion. I know I can do this the rest of my life and feel so good about it. So I just continued in that journey. I went to college, I came back and I worked for them. I came to Indianapolis then, they moved me here. I went into then the buying offices and then I got married and I moved to Richmond, Indiana. And I just felt like there was a need for a more contemporary and updated store. I felt that um, women love expressing themselves through their clothes and it didn't have to be high-end designer clothes, it could be something that was more moderate price. So in 1979 I opened The Secret Ingredient in Richmond, Indiana and um, that went very well and the next year I opened a store in Dayton, Ohio and then I had two children and um, continued on my journey. Then I had some difficulties with my marriage. The, I'm kind of a workaholic, and I know that, and I know that it's difficult to try to be everything to everybody. So I did a lot of praying during that time and saying, you know, what is the worst thing that could happen? And I felt like the worst thing was I had to go get another job someplace else. I felt like I wasn't maybe serving him the best I could, but I realized that we do serve women here, and it's not just selling clothes, that it really has a lot more to do with making women feel good about themselves. A lot of women have such low self-esteem for themselves. And a lot of times they just need to feel good through their job, feeling, again, I, I love to delegate because my first boss delegated to me. So giving people responsibilities, giving people the opportunity to, to buy some fun things. And I didn't expect them to wear all of our clothes, but it would be fun maybe to have some new accessories or new items that would just make them feel better. And sometimes it's just an earring or a necklace or a scarf that can make you feel so good. So it just became, it really became my mission. You know, it was like I knew that I was on the right path. So now, 11 years ago, I added the Indianapolis store. Six years ago, I added the Ave Maria store in Florida, which I felt was truly a divine intervention. Um, my dad is 93 years old, or eight, I always say 93 years young is what he really is. And he is still very um, active in the community. He golfs, he does nonprofit organizations. He, he's very, very fun to be with and such a joy. And when my mother was passing away, she said, I worry about your father. And I said, don't worry about him, we're going to Ave Maria. So I feel like it's just so wonderful to see that this whole thing has gone in so many different directions and I had no idea that a little part-time job when I was in high school was going to become a lifetime 
just a joy. It is. It's, it's a joy. There's always things that go on every day that are a little bit challenging, but I feel like that just makes us better, you know. Um, so there's just lots of growth that I think can still continue. And I look forward to our 35th next year. It's just hard to believe that it's been 35 years almost that um, I've been doing this. On October 26th, at our 1000th concert in Cincinnati, Ohio, I will be wearing a piece by designer Samuel Dong that was um, arranged through wonderful Jeannie Rush Weber of The Secret Ingredient. So I hope to see you there. I still believe that, that all is possible for you. All is possible.